That video brought to you by Dale Carnegie. Mm -hmm. He helped me talk pretty. He helped you talk pretty too. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and welcome to 4 Speed Diecast. I'm Max the Finger and today I'm coming to you from the plastic cabinet of eternal loneliness. Instead of the table of shame, uh, it's being reconditioned, I sent it out. Uh, we're being joined today by Mary. Uh, she just stopped by, you know, to, uh, to chat for a little bit and, uh, you know, how you doing Mary? Oh, I'm doing quite, oh shut up Mary. Uh, so, I'm kind of excited because I'm, I'm doing a, uh, a challenge for the first time. It's my first challenge. It's like my, uh, <sighs> I'm losing my challenge cherry. Well, I've been challenged before, but anyway, the point is doing this, doing this kind of stuff, you know. So, uh. So, Lee, over at Time Riders Wee Little Cars, put out a challenge. I think it's called the Bad Tampo Challenge. And, uh, basically the idea is to take a casting that you really like, that has a super bad tampo, and do something about it. Make it pretty. At least that's the way I understand it. If I'm incorrect, then I'm an idiot because I didn't really ask. But, uh, so, I had this sitting around. Get out of the way, Mary. I had this sitting around anyway, and the reason I bought it was because the tampo was so bad. I mean, come on. Who, whose idea was this? This, uh, I don't know. Uh, I showed this on Facebook the other day, and uh, one guy said, well, you know, his wife likes the art cars, and it's like, well, okay, I understand, you know, I guess some people could like it, but I'm not one of those people. I think it's uh, horrifically ugly, and, uh, uh, pardon me, no, I'm not taking a crap, I'm just taking this car out of the box. Uh, I think the wheels suck, I think the paint sucks, I think it yeah, it just, it's a dumpster fire, boys. It's a, it's a friggin' dumpster fire, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be it. Uh, so this is, this has got to, uh, yeah, this has all gotta go. I always wanted to do this anyway, and, uh, this just put it to the, uh, the front of the stove there, I guess you'd say. Put it to the front of the stove, put it, what's the opposite of putting it on the back burner? Putting it on the front burner? I mean, that... I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to get die cast that hot. But, uh, you know, just looking at the body, I mean, the body itself looks to be a very nice casting. I have... I think it's a little too wide. Just by a millimeter, maybe? But I don't know. I, once we get the paint off of it and everything, then I'll know better. But, uh, yeah. So happy happy joy joy and uh you know i'm either going to do a really good job and all the other uh big time die cast guys are going to be like hey that's really nice and i'm going to be like thank you or they're going to be like oh bless his heart bless his heart i don't want my heart blessed uh i really don't well i guess i do that's an odd thing to say but anyway Okay, so took it outside, drilled out the posts, and, uh, and then I slipped and went right through the plastic base. Uh, yeah, right there. Right there. Just went right through it. Just drilling. Just, oh, the light's terrible, isn't it? Terrible light. I, I'm going to point this over here. Just drilling. Drilling on the post. 
slipped off, went through the plastic. <laughs> At least it wasn't my finger. That's good, right? Now I'm going to get in here with the, uh, the tiny screwdriver and uh, see if I can't pop this off, which I would think it would be fairly easy. Oh, it is, because I've buggered all the holes up. That's the key to ease in disassembling a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox. Is uh, just completely butcher the holes. Things will come right apart. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come out of there. There we go. Oh, there's those, oh, pardon me, there's those wheels. There's those crap stinking wheels. Oh my God. Whose idea was this? They should be taken out and taught some focus. It'll come back eventually. So, yeah, body, windows, uh, everything should be good there. It's brand new. It's right out of the package, so... Yeah, those will be fine. I'll put some uh, not gauzy on them. But, uh, yeah. Hey, interior. I don't know. It's going to be a black interior? Maybe. I don't know. There's not much gauge definition, but... Oh, well. I mean, it's not too bad inside. There's a gear shift and seat belt buckles. Yeah, okay. But, of course... The big thing is this segment. Holy shit. That's my neighbor. I'm sorry, you'll have to excuse my neighbor. I told him about this. He's got a big train set that he runs in his backyard, and uh, there he goes. Okay, so uh, as soon as he gets out of the way there and uh, gets his locomotive out of my front yard, I'm going to strip this down. And it's going to look better without paint. Piece of crap. Well, <laughs> i got to say, even with no wheels, it's, uh, it looks better. Uh, just shot it with some silver paint. And I'm going to knock the top down a little bit. Probably going to leave the bottom just about like it is. I know it's supposed to be kind of gray. Ooh, shit. Uh, but... Oh well, that's what I'm doing. I like the silver, so I'm going to keep it. And uh, let's see what goes on top. i got to file that little piece off right there. Right there, that little guy at the very top of the windshield. He's got to get a little filing. But uh, otherwise, I think it's good to go. So, hit this, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I threw some paint on top of it, and uh, now I gotta, you know, do a little detailing on the underside. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't show the paint stuff because, you know, paint always goes out of focus, freaking focus. But uh, yeah, I did it outside, and I was doing it right beside a bonfire, and I figured the drilling part didn't go so well, you know, blowing through the chassis and whatnot. So I thought well I don't want to show myself getting blown up when one of the paint cans explodes when I throw it into the bonfire which I totally didn't do and by the way this car's name is gonna be lumpy yeah this is lumpy not only is he lumpy he's out of focus I hate this honest to god I hate this <laughs> out of focus lumpy Okay, I showed you too much. I wasn't going to show that wheel. Ah, uh, now you're seeing a wheel. Uh, a wheel. So, we got all the parts together. Uh, Mary is uh, joining us once again. Uh, just, uh, she's going to help put things together. She's uh, very talented. And uh, so, yeah, here you go, Mary. You got uh, you got the window right there. We got the, uh, the chassis with the little, uh, you know, just a little something, something. Where is it? One of these. One of these things. A little something, something. Oh, look how shaky. Uh, just thrown on there, you know. The interior, uh, if I can get my big stupid hand out of the light. The interior I just left black, and that's because these windows are green. And I really thought about 
going with a gray interior but with green windows I'm thinking it would really show and with a black interior it just it just looks black so there's the explanation for that and of course they got the body over here but you're you're not supposed to show the body until the final reveal but uh, that'll be in just a minute I've got an issue with the body and I I shouldn't say anything about it but really I think this is going towards the bless your heart kind of thing okay I think this is the bless your heart build so I'm gonna throw this together and then we'll talk about it this is the part where I show you the pictures of what this piece of crap looked like before and so without further ado boys and girls and I realize I said and so again uh, Mary is pushing our little Mustang up here come on Mary come on you got the, uh, you're not even behind the car Mary come on come, she's uh, she's been drinking again she's kind of a lush come on push it push it up there Mary come on come on Tell your mama to push the car <sighs> I'll use her for an e-brake so <laughs> Uh, pardon me. Uh, so, you know, I I really should have used a different paint underneath this. Let me move Mary. Get out of the way, Mary. Uh, I don't know that I like the finish. It's smooth, but it looks rough. And I used that uh, that silver paint that had the uh, all the glitter in it and yeah I was trying to get a sparkly kind of look but oh well live and learn uh, use some wheels off of the uh, Fast and the Furious Ford Torino that's out now the green one the one that I screwed up a body on a few a few weeks ago I had a uh, subscriber tell me he was gonna call me Max Super Glue Finger and it's like uh, thanks buddy had to bring it up. Had to bring it up. But yeah, just, uh, <laughs> I wish there was, oh, I wish this would focus better. Come on now. You know, it's just a little car. What are you going to do? I like it. I think it looks uh, way better than it did before. Because before it was a dumpster fire. And now it's a little less of a dumpster fire, even though until this evening... <laughs> come on until this very evening when I started uh, doing the last part of this video I was still of the opinion that I was just gonna strip it all back down and paint it green to match the windows but uh, I didn't do it I, I stayed the course and it's like well I'll take it I'll take it let me put my fingers in the way and wipe some stuff and this and that. I don't know. It might be a little flub there. Ah, well. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's a flub on the door before any point, anybody... <laughs> before anybody points it out, yeah, there's a little flub on the door there, but ah, well. What are you going to do? I'm not going to worry about it that much. But yeah, it's... Uh, let's see. In, out. In, out. In, out. Okay, there we are. We're out. But it's a nice little car, you know. I mean, when you when you get it, you know, 50 feet away at 50 miles an hour, it looks wonderful. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not going to throw this one away, I guess. I'll keep it. I kind of like it. <sighs> and, oh, oh, it looks so much better, even out of focus, than it did before. Yeah. So, uh, I want to thank... Uh, everybody that's that's uh, that's put up with me this far uh, thank you to my new subscribers and uh, thank you for Lee for uh, letting me in on this uh, bad tampo build uh, I know there's a lot of people gonna be in this thing and uh, if you're watching this if you're watching this idiot right here uh, <laughs> honest to God I used to do like model cars like 124 125 scale cars and it's like 
I used to make them so nice, and now it's like I'm old, and I can't see for nothing, and I'm doing stuff that's even smaller. What am I thinking? So yeah, go uh, go check out the other builds, because uh, I know there's a couple of people in there uh, on this Bad Tampo Challenge that are really kick-ass builders, you know. Uh, Lee, of course, uh, Ton Rider, over at Wee Little Cars, check him out. Uh, Modern Day Salvage, Deep Junk Garage, I'm sure that's going to be kick-ass. Uh, Go Bear's Diecast Workshop, which Go Bear has, has the greatest the greatest name. It's like it's like a, a character off a of Yogi Bear, you know. It's like the bear that's really fast. It's Go Bear. Look out, here comes Go Bear. Yeah. Yogi, who's your new friend? That's Go Bear. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> I can't do impressions. Anyway, uh, Brian Free, Opa, over at Opa's Diecast, uh, King Size Customs. Uh, that's that's the ones I know about. So uh, everybody go and check those other videos out. Uh, I'm sure their builds are going to really like just kick ass and and I'm going to get the bless his heart. But what are you going to do? Alright boys and girls, uh, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging around and oh, oh there's an earthquake. Oh, Oh, get back, get back, move back, move back, stay there. So, uh, anyway, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, smash that dislike button and uh, leave a comment below and tell me that I am Benjamin Disraeli. And, uh, of course, subscribe, subscribe, sure, why not? I don't give out prizes yet, but I might. I'll never give out prizes. Maybe I will. I don't know. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Later. Oh, come back. Come back. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, thank you. Stop.